Hello students, welcome to Standard 9 subject mathematics. We are starting chapter number 7 in this lecture, triangle, lecture number 1. Chapter number 7 it is triangle. To understand about the triangle, first the concept is congruence of triangles. The first topic in this chapter is congruence of triangle. So in that very first word congruence, what does this mean? It is we have seen. We are already here. That congruent means equal in all respects. Means every way it should be equal. Or you can say figures whose shapes and sizes are both the same. Shapes and sizes. If both the same for the two given figures, we will say the both the figures are congruent figures. So similar way, if we understand the meaning of congruence or congruent. So congruence of triangle we will understand now. So for that we have taken two triangles, triangle PBC and triangle PQR. So if for given triangle, triangle ABC and triangle PQR, two conditions must be followed. The first one is corresponding sides are equal. If given these two triangles and corresponding sides are equal, you can understand that in triangle total six parts. How many parts? Triangle total six parts. You know, three sides. Like for triangle ABC, AB, BC, and AC, three sides and three angles, angle A, angle B, angle C. Three sides and three angles, total six parts we have. So for about the sides if you talk, so corresponding sides are equal. If you have corresponding sides are equal, like in these two figures, you can see AB is of 4.5, BC is also 4.5. So two sides are equal and BC equals to QR 5 by centimeter and AC equals to PR that is. So these three corresponding sides are equal. Number one condition and number two for angles, corresponding angles are also equal. If corresponding angles are also equal, like here angle A and angle B are of equal measure, angle B and angle Q are of equal measure, and angle C and angle R are of equal measure. So what you have seen, or total six parts, three sides, corresponding three sides are also equal and corresponding three angles are also equal. If this happens in the two triangles, so we can say there is one one correspondence between the vertices. And now we have to think about vertices, that the pair of vertices we have to see which are equal, P corresponding A. Why? Because angle A is congruent angle P. That way we can uh, directly find. Q corresponds B. This is the sign of correspondence. Both the side have correspondence. P correspondence A vertices correspondence given. P uh, correspondence A. Q correspondence B because B equals to Q angle. And R correspondence C because R equals to C angle. So all these three correspondence are equal here. In the two given two triangles, then we can say triangle PQR with the first first uh, triangle PQR's uh, vertices. Congruent sign is it is called congruent sign. Triangle ABC. So its first, second, and third vertices are PQR. So here also in the same order it should be for the triangle ABC. ABC. This can be written that and it, it, uh, it is uh, written as triangle PQR congruent triangle ABC. Only this way we can say that both the triangles are congruent in this correspondence. Here, but triangle QPR correspondence ABC, if you are changing the order, will not be correct, it will be wrong. So, it is very, very important to have the correspondence between the vertices. And that order only we have to write in the congruent part showing. And that way only we have to understand. And now what we can understand that all the three sides, corresponding sides are PQ equals to AB, first side, first side equal, that is given. QR equals to BC, second side, second side equal. PR equals to AC, third side, third side is equal. That way we can understand. 
and for the angles also first angle equals to first angle second equal to second third equal to third that we can understand then if you write this it will be incorrect because you can understand angle q is not equal to angle a in this so this will be incorrect only this way it is correct so this we have seen the correspondence between the two triangles how to understand the two conditions must be followed corresponding sides must be equal and corresponding angles must be equal and one one correspondence between the vertices and that in that only order we can say the both the triangles are corresponding uh, vertices are congruent in congruent triangles corresponding parts are equal we have seen corresponding sides corresponding angles are equal in congruent triangle corresponding parts are equal that means all the three sides of first triangle are equal to be the three sides of the corresponding three sides of the other triangle and all the three angles of first triangle is equals to corresponding equals to corresponding to uh, angles of the other triangle so in congruent triangles corresponding parts are equal and we can write in short cpcp cpcp for corresponding parts of congruent triangle in short whenever we will write cpcp it means corresponding parts of congruent triangle for two given congruent triangles this will be always true cpc the corresponding parts of congruent triangle so this is all we have understand the definition of congruence of triangle and cpc about that now uh, if you will think that uh, for the given two triangles it is always we have to see that all the three sides and all the three angles corresponding angles are equal or with seeing some of them only suppose the uh, one or two or three sides three total three sides not only some things all the six parts not necessary always uh, taking some part of it total six parts of the triangle three sides and three angles can we show both the triangles congruent by taking some of the parts only yes so that part we will see in the criteria for congruence of triangle so on the basis of some criteria also we can say the triangles are congruent it is not necessary that always six all the six corresponding parts will be show equal by taking some of the parts also we can show it and that parts are in axiom it is given first by axiom 7.1 sas congruence rule sas you can understand side angle side side angle side is in short sas what is this rule is two triangles are congruent we can say two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle if we have two triangles and two sides and the included angle means angle between the that two sides are equal to the two sides like here two sides and included angle of the other triangle then the other triangle then the two triangles are called congruent again two triangles are congruent if two sides and the included angle of one triangle in first triangle if two sides and included angle are equal to the same way in the second triangle two sides and included angle are equal then both the triangles are called congruent okay this we will see in the example we will confirm it we will see example one is this way the figure is given in example one in figure oa equals ob this way given sign and od equals to oc this is also given and we have to show that triangle first number is triangle you can see the down here angle triangle aod and the second triangle is boc both the triangles are congruent that we have to show first triangle aod congruent triangle boc second number we want to show here that this ad is parallel to bc ad parallel to bc this we want to prove we want to show so as we know that in uh, prove that or show that type question in the solution we will write in three steps first we will write data in which we write the things which are given in the question second point we will write to prove what we want to show there and what we want to prove that that type of things we will write there and third step we will write the proof how from the given things we are 
proving the things that we have shown here. So data is what is given here that uh, OA equals to OB and OD equals to OC. This is given. So in data I write that OA equals to OB and OD equals to OC. This is given. To prove means to show that my first number is triangle AOD congruent triangle BOC. I am going to show this first and second I am going to show that AD parallel BC. This we want to show. Now in proof the first thing we will start with. I am going to show that triangle AOD congruent triangle BOC. So I have taken in triangle AOD this triangle and triangle BOC in these two triangles we will make the list of equal things. The list of equal things are OA equals to OB, first we can write in this triangle OA side and in this triangle OB side, both are equal. And in this triangle OD and in this triangle OC, these two are also equal. And these two are equal, that is given OA equals to OB and OD equals to OB. These two are equal. Now next is, we can see these two angles are formed. Two lines AB and CD are intersecting each other and O. So this way two angles are formed called vertically opposite angles and in chapter number 6 we have seen the vertically opposite angles are equal in theorem 6.1. So these two angles are vertically opposite angles and name of this angle is angle AOD equals name of this angle is BOC angle BOC. They are equal, why? Because they are vertically opposite angles. So what we have seen in these two triangles? In these triangles, these two sides are included angle, right? OA, OD and angle AOD. These two sides and included angle are equal to these two sides and included angle of this triangle. See, OB equals to OC and BOC. So, is it SAS? Yes. So, triangle AOD by the vertices, correspondence vertices are A equals B, B corresponds C and O corresponds O. So triangle AOD, congruent triangle BOC by SAS, means side angle sign, congruence proof, we can say. So first is proof here, angle AOD, congruent triangle BOC using SAS. Showing that two sides and included angle of one triangle are equal to the two sides of the two sides and included angle of the other triangle. Now we can use in second number to be. So in second number to prove, we are using this triangle EOD common triangle BOC that we have proved that I have taken. If these two triangles are congruent, then by this rule. In congruent triangles, corresponding parts are equal. All the corresponding parts are equal, you can show now. So, if two triangles AOD and BOC are equal, we can show uh, the, its first angle A and its first angle B will be equal. And this first angle can be written as angle OAB. And this first angle can be written as angle OBC. First, first angles are equal by which? By CPCT means the congruent part of corresponding parts of congruent triangle corresponding parts of congruent triangle by, by that way first first angles are shown equal and now see these two angles in the figure angle OAB is this angle and angle OBC is this angle these two angles are made in Z corners and Z corner angles are called alternate angles so and these angles OAD and OBC are angles form a pair of alternate angles and a pair of alternate angles are equal, then in last, the last chapter we have seen if the pairs of alternate angles are equal, in which two lines they are, between which two lines they are made, between AD and BC, so these AD and BC will be equal, uh, parallel. So therefore, AD parallel BC we can write by the axiom theorem of last chapter. If the alternate angles are equal, the lines between which they are formed, they are parallel lines. So AD parallel BC also we have proved this way. This is example one, both the things we have shown. Now example number two we have, it is AB is a line segment, like given in the figure, AB is a line segment. And line L is its perpendicular bisector, line L is its perpendicular bisector. Perpendicular bisector means you know, 
perpendicular bisector means it will be forming a rectangle on which it is perpendicular and bisector means wherever it will bisect AB wherever it will bisect the line segment that point will be the midpoint of AB so this is the property of perpendicular bisector so perpendicular means 90 degrees width and C will be the midpoint of AB so AC equals to BC will be because C will be the midpoint of AB that means we have to understand by perpendicular bisector given so now if a point P lies on L so that on L P point is on this L line if P point is on line L so we have to show that P is equidistant from A and B we have to show that P this point P is equidistant is on the equal distance from A and B means P A equals to P B that we have to show here so again here the solution first we will write data in which we will write the given thing given is the line L is perpendicular bisector of the line segment so line L is perpendicular bisector of AB that is given to prove we want to prove that P is equidistant from A and B that in symbol we can say P is equidistant from A and B that is P A equals to P B we want to prove this right so in proof as you can see here two triangles triangle PCA and triangle PCB that two triangles are taken triangle PCA and triangle PCB in that we will uh, make the list of equal things the equal things are first we can write AC equal to BC why? because C is midpoint of AB why? because C point is on the perpendicular bisector line L and perpendicular bisector line bisects the line segment bisects that means it is passing to the midpoint and that point is C so AC equals to BC because C is midpoint of C now about angle if you say angle PCA equals to angle PCB both will be of 90 degree because L is perpendicular to AB and perpendicular line always makes 90 degree with the other you know given that L perpendicular AB so angle PCA equals to angle PCB equals to 90 degree now in the this triangle and this triangle both PC and PCB PC is common side the common side will be always equal so PC equals to PC that is common by showing these three what we have shown actually we have shown these sides about this triangle we talk about these two sides are equal PC and PC we have shown it equal with the other side other triangle these two sides are included angle these two sides are included angle means side angle side two sides and between that included angle is shown equal so again we can write by this rule SAS congruence rule that triangle PCA congruent triangle PCB by SAS rule here we will write which criteria we have to by SAS by SAS triangle PCA congruent triangle PCB right and now if we have shown the both the triangles congruent we can show for the congruent triangle the corresponding parts are equal so we want to show the third side PA is the third side of first triangle so it's first side the third side of the triangle PB so PA equals to PB we can write by CPCT that is called corresponding parts of congruent triangle so PA equals to PB we can show that shows that P is equidistant from A and B this way so in this lecture we have understood the definition of congruence of triangle and uh, axiom 7.1 and SS congruent rule and this rule we have used in example 1 and 2 also so you are also suggested to write this in very good handwriting in your notebook and you understand the definition of congruence of triangle you understand SS rule and uh, example 1 and 2 for you it is to make it sure in SS rule so you are suggested to write it well and understand it well and this will be used in next coming examples and exercise also so make sure about these in yourself and be confident in this concept